Buddy, your friendship with Joe Lieberman started in different ways. Mine started on sort of an inauspicious note. <laughs> we, um, we had a year-long debate all over the state of Connecticut on an issue we both cared deeply about. And uh, I got to say at the end of that year to the Lieberman grandchildren that I have more respect for your grandfather, his integrity, and what he stood for, faith and family. I say to Hadass and the family, um, thank you for inviting me. It's a real honor. It says a lot about Joe and Hadassah and the family. Um, a lot of you go back with Joe a lot longer than I did. I see Dick Blumenthal is going to be speaking. You know, Dick had some pretty big shoes to fill when he took over as Attorney General when Joe moved on to the Senate. And Chris Murphy is there. You know, I think he's on Joe Lieberman's desk down there in the Senate and uh, following that proud uh, tradition. And of course, uh, Chris Dodd, Chris and Joe were like that for close to a generation, fighting on behalf of families and fighting on behalf of Connecticut values. That was a team. That was a team. There's one other person that um, I'd like to speak on behalf of just because he told me a story that goes further back. His name is Marty Looney. Marty Looney is the uh, president of our state senate. But going back a generation ago, Marty was a young staffer in uh, Yale City Hall, where he um, actually had to report up to the chief of staff to the mayor, who was Rosa DeLauro. We're a small state. We, um, and uh, one day, uh, Marty says, he got a call from the uh, majority leader in the state senate. That was uh, Joe Lieberman. And uh, Joe goes, um, Marty. I need you to help out somebody. It's going to make a big difference. You do so, you'll always be remembered in the book that counts, and you'll be listed as a mensch. Always be listed in the book that counts, listed as a mensch. And uh, Marty took that to heart and what that meant. You know, from there, Joe Lieberman, as you maybe know, moved on to uh, Attorney General, which is a bit of a backwater job back then, and it was not when he was there. He was an activist, standing up for civil rights, civil liberties, consumer rights, and the environment. And from there, he moved on to the Senate, where probably he was uh, the leader when it came to making sure that a generation later, our water is cleaner and our air is purer. Second only, probably, to Al Gore, who's here you get a chance to talk to as well. And. Uh, that Gore-Lieberman ticket was an amazing ticket back in the year 2000. Uh, what a team they were. I've had a chance to talk to um, some of the campaign staff on the um, vice president's bus. It was a little tricky. Um, you know, a lot of wasps. They didn't always know the um, orthodox traditions. A little shaky on the Sabbath. Uh, I had to work out the uh, scheduling sometime on Friday evenings and Saturdays. Um, maybe in rural Utah. It was a little tougher to get uh, the appropriate meals. Um, uh, but I also heard uh, one other story, that on the way back from those long campaign trips, um, Joe Lieberman's campaign caravan would always stop at the flower shop and bring some fresh flowers to Hadassah. And I think Joe hoped that some of the young fathers on the campaign team were there to take notice. At the end of all these campaigns, uh, Vinnie Morrow points out that um, Joe would always go to Great Senior Center in New Haven, and he loved to sing Frank Sinatra tunes. And you can imagine his favorite was, I did it my way. Uh, he did it his way. He never quite fit in that Republican or Democratic box. I am. Um, I think maybe, in an odd way, I helped liberate him because when he beat me, uh, beat me pretty good, by the way, uh, and he, um, he won as an independent. He has been a proud independent um, ever since. And uh, he was always a calming presence. I like to think of him as uh, that bridge over troubled waters, as you see the partisans sniping from both directions. And I last got to see the senator at uh, the Alfalfa Club. And uh, we got together, and like old guys, we put on the rose-colored glasses, remember the good old days. <laughs> and, um, and he also said, um, I think, Governor, there's one more we can agree on. 
Let's work together in making sure America stands up and helps the Ukrainian freedom fighters. And I said, Senator, let's do that together. Let's get together. And I never would have thought that we'd be getting together here and now so soon. It was just four or five days ago that, that Asa made some poached salmon for her husband, and, and then suddenly uh, he was gone. But he's not gone because I know he'll always be remembered in that book where it counts and always listed as a mensch. God bless Joe Lieberman.